Hi, I'm really glad to be able to talk to you at the start of this new year. And you know, when we think about the beginning of a new year, it always makes me think about, well, the beginning of the Bible. You know, the Christians believe that the Bible is God's special book to us. And the beginning of the Bible tells us all about, well, the beginning of everything, not just a new year, but the beginning of everything that was ever been. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about the beginning today, but I'm not just going to read to you what the Bible says about it, but instead I always keep a bit of rope in my Bible. I'm going to use this bit of rope to do a bit of magic today to talk about what the Bible says is the most important thing ever and about how the beginning showed what was going to happen. You know, because the Bible says that the most important thing ever is that actually the whole Bible, it says, is all about how God up in heaven wants to know and have a relationship with us down here on earth. He wants to be close to us and near to us and, and with us. And so actually, the beginning of everything shows that. Because you see, the Bible says that in the beginning there was, well, nothing. Nothing, that is, except for God. And it says that right in the beginning, God was there. But he wasn't lonely. Because you see, the Bible says there's one God, but he's made up of three persons. There's God the Father, who lives up in heaven. There's God the Son, Jesus, who came down to earth, what we celebrated at Christmas. And then there's God the Holy Spirit, who the Bible says comes to live in the life of anybody who turns and puts their trust in God. And so right at the beginning, there was these three persons that made up the one God. And actually, there was so much love within God that it was overflowing so much that God wanted to create people in order to share his love with them. And so in the beginning, God did something amazing and incredible. The Bible says that in the beginning, God decided that he was going to create, well, as I said, everything. He was going to create all the planets, the stars, the worlds, everything. And he created one special planet called Earth, which was going to be his special world where he was going to place people who he was going to share his love with. And so God created everything. And then on his special planet Earth, he created a garden called the Garden of Eden. And the Bible says that there he placed two people, a man called Adam and a woman called Eve. And it was an amazing and incredible place because actually they could be close to God. They could walk with God. They could talk with God. They could be with God. They could play with God. It was amazing and incredible. And God actually told them to do lots of amazing and incredible things and to have great fun. But there was one thing that God said, do not do. One rule that God had. God said, do not eat the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. It was a tree called the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And that was one God's one special rule in order to keep them safe. And you know, there are lots of rules at the moment, aren't there? You know, we want to be close to people and spend time with people and see our family and friends and things like that. But at the moment we can't because of the rules that are in place. But just like the rule that God had in his special garden, the rules that we have at the moment are there to keep us safe as well. And so it's good for us to listen to those rules, listen to our teachers, our mums and dads, people who are telling us about those rules and to follow them in order to stay safe. And you know, Adam and Eve should have listened to God and followed his rules as well. But you see, things started to go wrong. You see, one day Eve was walking in the garden and she was on her own. You know, God wasn't there and Adam wasn't there. And along came a snake, is what the Bible says. And the snake spoke to her and said, do you know, if you eat the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden, it's not as bad as God says. You see, God had told them that if they ate the fruit, they were surely going to die. And Eve looked at the fruit and she thought, oh, it looks very tasty. It looks really great. And so she decided not to listen to God and to follow his rules, but to eat the fruit. And you know, when she ate it, she didn't die straight away, but something did happen. And she gave some to Adam and you know, well, he ate it as well and he didn't die straight away, but something did happen there. You know, he ended up being cut off from God. And actually they ended up that the, the knotty messed up situation they'd got themselves in was really rather bad. Because you see, because they'd done things that were wrong, God could no longer let them stay in his special garden. Because God is good and perfect, the Bible says, and so nothing bad can be with him. And so they were cut off from him. But is that the way that God wanted it to be? Did God want people to be shown his love and then separated from him? Well, no, God wanted there to be that relationship between us and him. He wanted there to be that link with us. And so actually God did something right from the very beginning. To sort it out. You see, God wasn't caught out by Adam and Eve doing wrong. God knew that actually he had a special plan to deal with it. And you know, because he knew that actually us doing things wrong was going to create a great and amazing problem. 
that actually that we were going to be cut off from him. A bit like the problem we have at the moment with the coronavirus, isn't it? It stops us from seeing other people and being with other people. But actually, there's a solution, which is the vaccine. And God had a solution as well for the problem of the things that we've done that are wrong. And actually, that solution was actually going to be, well, Jesus. Jesus coming and dying on a cross to actually take the consequence for all the things that you and I have done wrong so that we could be forgiven if we turn and put our trust in him and follow him. And you know, I think, well, we've never eaten this fruit from this tree in the middle of the garden like Adam and Eve did, but actually we're all still cut off from God because of the things that we've done that are wrong. When we think things that are wrong or, or say things that are wrong or do things that are wrong or just have wrong inside of us. And we know, don't we, that we should never do those things that are wrong, but we still sometimes do. But actually the Bible says that there is a solution. And that's what the Bible is all about. How Jesus came down at Christmas. And then what we're gonna celebrate at the end of this term at Easter, that he died upon a cross. And as I said, they're taking the consequences for the things that you and I have done wrong so that we could be forgiven. And the Bible says that actually, if we turn and put our trust in him, then he does something amazing and incredible. That actually, that stuff that was broken is completely and utterly restored. That actually, that relationship between us and God can be made better again if we just put our trust in him. And so that's why it's good for us to, to listen to the rules, to follow the rules, but also to remember that the Bible actually tells us about how God wants us to be friends with him. And we can do that by putting our trust in Jesus. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of magic today, and I hope that soon I'll be able to come back into your school and see you all again and tell you one of my great stories once again. I hope you're doing well and see you soon. Bye.